Hey folks, welcome to this week's Fishing for Laughs. As you can tell, we're not out at the Big Rock fishing the Blue Marlin Tournament. Actually, we're here at one of my favorite little ponds. We decided we needed a break, just try and catch some bass, maybe some brim. Who knows, we might look up and catch a crappie. Kind of warm this morning, uh, sweating like crazy, but that's okay, exactly. it's early. So, hey, stay tuned, we're gonna have a great time here on Fishing for Laughs. Fishing for Laughs, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Well, folks, as you can tell, Artie's fishing his favorite, a cork. Fishing live bait. Live bait. That Artie loves live bait. I've always been one. I love a good, you know, chatter bait or a good... The Terminator to try for these bass. Artie's got a minnow on there about the size of a good crappie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a big fish. Big fish with big bait. Man, I'll tell you what, it is warm out here. It is. It's, yeah, the idea of this jet black silk shirt, man. <laughs> it might have been one of my brighter ideas today. Artie was going for that. I'm cool, Tommy Bahamas look. Exactly right. I've got my patented fishy shirt on, and I am sweating like crazy. I'm tired of just being the <laughs> eye candy on this show. <laughs> yeah, you're the eye candy. I'm going to show you how to catch a bass with one of these good lures. That's here. fine. Go you ahead. Just take your time. <laughs> That's right. Artie don't want to work that hard, do you, Art? <laughs> Artie's been working hard the last couple of days. I can't believe you. Off at the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament, I'm at the farm working on equipment. <laughs> Artie, Artie has the nerve to call me up and goes, man, I'm beat to death. It was so hot out there on the boat fishing for marlin. <laughs> Give me a break. It was 97 degrees. I'm under a front end of a tractor, and he calls me up complaining because he got sunburned. <laughs> Was <laughs> that's right? That's a hard way to get sunburned. Sixty miles offshore yeah. fishing for blue marlin. Calls me up. He's got sun poisoning. Mm. <laughs> and you even put SPF 30 on too, mm -hmm. didn't you? Well, hopefully, we I smell fish already. Smell them? No, wait a minute. That might be us. That might be us. <laughs> hey, I forgot. We got some bojangles. Bojangle breakfast. If all else, if all else fails, we'll take some of that sausage and put it on a hook. I got a feeling you're about to take my hat and put it on the hood. <laughs> Are you fl flinching again? Never. Hey, Art, we got an audience. <laughs> Have I got some great cows or what? It's a rodeo. They're coming out on the pier to watch us fish. <laughs> Even they think we're stupid. Oh, they're going to hate their shade under here. If you didn't show that, you wouldn't believe that they will do that. They will go out. I've, I've had half the herd on the pier. Unbelievable. Look, they're all gone. Yeah. I don't know, but God, how funny would that be? <laughs> all of a sudden, they're all stuck four legs in the boat. <laughs> hey, I wonder if we could get one on this boat. <laughs> get a little bale of hay. We've told you, folks, if we could have bull riding on the boat, we would be on ESPN. They'll get, look at that. <laughs> that is too funny. And every one of them's going, eat more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, I believe that cow would jump in. That'd be a good thing to watch. Look at this, oh, that one's butting that one in the butt, look. Get on the pier. <laughs> <laughs> Even the cows are in the water. That's right. Cows, cows in, in the, the water. water. <laughs> Fish in the water. <laughs> Cow go in the pen. <laughs> you go in the pen. <laughs> what an oh, what do you know? It's a little crappy. I bet your money. It's a little crappy. Yeah, look at that. What an absolute. My, my manna. He, my manna put him on the hook. Look at that. My manna's gone. We That's need to hook of, him in the back and fish for bass with him. That's kind of a waste of a minute right there. Oh, man. It looks like this pinfish you were catching. <laughs> True story. 
They were outrageous pinfish. Yeah. Had teeth. They were all of four and a half inches long. Oh. It's my bait off of this one, chasing the bait <laughs> from that one. <laughs> Where's that king canopy that we could snap up? Yeah, right let's quick? put that king canopy up. Oh, you dirty, dirty little whore. Get ready, Artie. He's yeah. chasing. Yo, yeah, watch out. That's a that's crappy. So small, he can't get the bait. Yep. In his he may already be hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah, man. Good little. He's crappy. a fighter. Oh, look at that! Look at that oh. big crappy. <laughs> He's painting my booty. Can you get him off? Yeah, some help. No, I think I hook I him in there. the back and fish with him. Yeah. <laughs> Hey folks, we'll be right back with more Fishing for Laughs. Uh, excuse me, let me show you how to do that. Hey folks, we'll be right back with more Fishing for Laughs. Mike Hogg. Now, more fishing for laughs. I got a bass, I think. I think I might have one already. Yes, sir. No, I don't know. Yeah, look. <laughs> a little bass. Hey, ain't man. no size, but you know what? It's better than one I caught. That's, I knew there was one hanging out in those shadows near that pier. That's because you're a fisherman. That's right. I was fishing structure. <laughs> and I've got my I, line twisted 13 times around the court. <laughs> Hey, Art, Kevin Van Dam showed me that. <laughs> We're going to change Art's name to Art Van Dam. <laughs> and Jerry, That's a little pond and Jerry bass. Houston. And, but you know, the sad part is there's some in here that weighs 8, 10 pounds. How do I know? I've seen them caught. I haven't any caught any personally uh, myself. No, uh, that was my next conception. You know what the whole deal is? My cousin. Now, why is it every time we go anywhere? My cousin yesterday, yesterday and the day before comes, because, oh, you got to fish that pond. I started about 6.30, 7 o'clock. By 8.30, I'd caught a dozen. That's like when we were on the pier, remember? Yeah. yeah we tried exactly to do a pier about. fishing show, and here's what we heard. Oh, geez, boys, I tell you, you should have been here yesterday to caught 142 Ooh. blues by 9 o'clock. Evidently, you came on a day when it was the wrong time of the moon. Now, wait a minute. It was one day different. Right. You come back tomorrow, we couldn't come back tomorrow. What'd he say? You come back tomorrow. I already caught, caught a tree. I caught a Christmas tree. <laughs> You had a fish I and it went fish, into the tree. It went into a daggum Christmas tree. <laughs> Give him a minute, it'll come out. Or Chef, no, he's not you coming out really of that. You don't think he's coming out of that, do you, Sparky? Like you no, nah, we're going to have to unhook it. You know what? I'm glad there aren't stumps in the ocean when we're fishing on a big That's rock. Right. <laughs> or what'd you catch? I caught that big rock. Where were you? 55 miles offshore. 55. There he comes. He's, he's coming out of there. Oh, he's not? The okay, tree you're is. moving the tree. <laughs> you're moving the boat. You're moving the tree. As much as you get hung up, you ought to be getting good at this. There you go. Is he still on? And I still got my fish <laughs> and a Christmas present. <laughs> it's wrapping paper. Hold on. I couldn't have threw him anymore. Some of Miss T's minnows ain't worth a <laughs> <laughs> Tease tackle. I pitied him. <laughs> I pitied the fool made fun of my middle. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you know what she said? She said, I pitied the fool to make fun of my middle. <laughs> they always hang around. Same with that breeze feeling Ooh, good. Boy, that almost gave me a chill. Uh, I saw you shiver there. It must be the sun poison. <laughs> here's, a you, good, was a here's a good plan. <laughs> Let's get all three of these lines tangled up in the trolling mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a disaster waiting to happen. Where are the crickets? They're in here somewhere. Listen oh, for the chirping. <laughs> Listen for the chirping. <laughs> Does this look like it's a big mess right here? <laughs> we, don't, we don't have enough rods in the waters to pry. <laughs> Hold on. This is a disaster. Here, go be free. 
He's dead as <laughs> he's dead as Chinese New Year. <laughs> dead. What you? You got crickets. <laughs> he's in my shirt. <laughs> he is. He's <laughs> cranking. He's up your shorts. <laughs> yeah, he better not be up my dad gum short. Oh, did you find him? No, I ain't found him. Hold on. He's under your oh, he <laughs> He's under your sandals. Ah, you. <laughs> hey, Art, they won't bite you. <laughs> You're ornery. <laughs> mm. Got you. You know what a little cricket's thinking now? What? I'm going to swim. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Get that hook out of me. <laughs> Did I mention that brim fishing's a quiet? You can't, you gotta be real quiet. <laughs> well, then how do they keep the crickets from chirping? Hey folks, we're trying to catch these crickets in here and Artie is having a time. I think one's gone up his breeches leg, one's in his shirt. I'm about tired of the crickets. <laughs> my wife would jump out of this boat. She thinks crickets are like big spiders. Oh man, my See, daughter. Art? Yeah, your daughter too. What is it? My wife can handle snakes and lizards and everything else, and she can't handle When it comes to a little bug, I got woke up at midnight last night to kill a little spider about that big <laughs> in my daughter's bedroom. Save him. But, but we're trying to hook some crickets on here. These these boogers are hard. My hands are so big. They're but while sneaky. We get, well, yeah, they're sneaky. While we're getting some lines out into the water here, what do you say we take a quick break? Me and Artie need to get a little break here and have some water and something to, hey, you know what? While we're away, me and Artie's gonna hit these Bojangles biscuits. Bojangles. For our Hispanic viewers, Bojangles. We got some biscuits. So we'll be right back with more Fishing for Laughs right after this break, folks. What is the deal here? Now the wind's blowing. We've been dying of heat all morning. Now the wind's blowing when we're trying to set up. My fat baby likes to eat, likes to eat. <laughs> Maybe it's the not not the right phase of the moon. Maybe it's the tide change. Look at that. I never saw nothing mess with it. That means you threw him off. You're exactly right. Look, John Connor, we're drum fishing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, wonder why we don't catch anything. Art's poling in the mud, <laughs> singing. <laughs> but we sure are having fun. Somehow I don't think you're taking this serious. Like I said, I'm just the eye candy for the show. Yeah, we can tell from all the mail we got. That's right. Who is the sexy guy in the Hawaiian shirt? 93 feet of line out in the tall one of the boat. <laughs> Did we just have a bite? <laughs> I tried to hook you by hand. <laughs> this is some fishing technique going on here, ladies and gentlemen. If it was a brim, whenever he ever pops it, he sucked that mud, that cork, that cricket right off. That's a tough job, cricket counter. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I count the crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I was good at math. <laughs> I'm real fast. Watch this. 70, 90, 20, 20. I got a PhD in math. I'm a cricket counter. <laughs> it was either that or be a comedy booker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I decided to do, it pays better to book crickets. Let's see, I could pick up bottles beside the road. <laughs> or I could be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the aluminum can business is going very well, but I thought I'd go on the road. <laughs> I had a career choice. What was your career path? Was look at there. I told you, if they ever hit it, look, he tore that. He not left but his back legs. Oh, get whoa! Son. <laughs> Artie Ooh. called a bass on, on a, a cricket. cricket and a cane pole. <laughs> Wait, we're getting all Oh, up. you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> oh. Look at this, boy. You been bass fishing all morning and caught, and a, caught bass a doggone a... thing called bass <laughs> on a cricket on a cane pole. 
Oh. And he sucked that thing in. You get it out. He just hooked right in that, right in his tongue. Yep. Look at that. Beep. <laughs> Take me to the <laughs> river. <laughs> 1495. <laughs> Take me to the river. Uh, what was the K-Tail other? Records. Yeah, what was the other one they did with that fish? They did about 57 songs. Yeah, like a Tim Wilson CD. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Tim. All of a sudden. Oh, that was great, man. I can't believe he caught a bass on a cricket. He knocked the fire out of that thing. I'm gonna catch another. What if he weighed five times that? That would have been weird. <laughs> All right. We've seen the crickets are the ticket. Mm. I checked the color jet chart and it said go cricket. Yeah. That's right. The pH and the. And ah. the I was trying to jump off of it. Wouldn't you? Putting a cricket on a hook makes me think of the Spanish Inquisition. Let me tell you what that is, Artie. Makes me think about Gitmo. Gitmo. <laughs> no. Maybe if we did put some hooks in people in Gitmo, we wouldn't have to. We know where everybody's That's at. That's right. Artie's got a fish. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is relaxed fishing right here, now, boy. Is that not great catching them on these little fiberglass poles? Oh, man, that's a blast. I'm telling you what. Now, that's a pretty little bluegill. That's a true little bluegill. He's not any size much. But, <sighs> but he's that, mine. That's right. I'm not downplaying your fish. It's just... You got something messing up yonder. Oh, I, shoot, never mind. I think it might be the wind, but there you go, Art. Little, pretty little bluegill. Wait, get your foot off my bojangles. <sighs> I don't want your feet on my bojangles. I would hate to have a sausage biscuit and <laughs> flip flop sandwich. I think that's what. Oh, <laughs> he's kissing the fish. No tongue. Ooh, that was nasty. <laughs> Hey, he didn't taste as good as a marlin. You can't, I forgot to tell you, you know my cows go in here all the time. Right? <laughs> Speaking of going. Yeah, that, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. And if I stand up in this boat, no, we might you're have not, an issue. You're not going off the side of my boat. <laughs> so, folks, now that we got to take care of human nature as opposed to regular nature, y'all stick with us. We'll be right back with more Fishing for Labs. <laughs> never fails. Hey, welcome back, folks. We've had a pretty good little break here. I already took care of a business he had to take care of. Yeah, I feel much better. <laughs> just sitting here waiting on these fish. You know what? Just a terrible day on the pond fishing is just much better than any day at work. So we're just killing time. If we catch a few fish, fine. I think some of the best compliments we got was the fact the show we did where we caught no fish. Isn't that right, Artie? Exactly that right. We had a us. lot of fun that we day. Had, look, we're having a great time today. Uh, we've been here since early this morning. We're going to fish a little while, and hey, that's that's what it's about. And you know, we got a great email from a list from a listener, from a viewer, who said... We're doing radio now. We're doing radio. Oh, our... <laughs> What? Frank King said to tell you. you got Oh, the, that's great. Yeah, we're Frank Brady King, our good friend comedy buddy, saw the show. He said, tell Art he's got a face for radio and a voice for journalism. <laughs> <laughs> I love but anyway, Frank. we had a, a viewer that sent us a great email and said he just caught the show by accident. In our Raleigh nobody area. plans on watching nope, fishing yeah, for Nobody lives. plans on it. They just catch it by accident and then they're hooked for life. That's right. They're fans. But it was a great email. He said that he just enjoyed it tremendously. Not the fact that we're terrible fishermen, but the fact that we just, we're good buddies and it shows on film. And, and I mean, that's what it's about. Fishing should be fun. It shouldn't be 20 minutes of telling you how to tie a knot because Lord knows we don't know how. Mm -mm. You know, so the only way we have snailed hooks is when we buy them snails. That's right. They come in a six pack. <laughs> Doggone it, Artie. I missed him again. You know, I've got so many poles in the water, I can't watch them. You told me, fish with one pole. One Pay attention. Pole, and that's all you need. Every time I cast out, I look at this one, I miss that one. Cause I'm a fish like my grandma Macy. You've heard me talk about Macy. Oh yeah. And she always fished with a couple of poles off the bank. She'd watch, I, I swear the woman could watch four poles at one time. But then again, as a good Southern grandma, she had the tradition of dipping snuff. Hey oh, folks, man, have, yeah. yeah, did you have a grandma dip snuff? A grandma dip Everybody snuff, that's worth their salt in the South, grandmother dip snuff. Matter of fact, let's go to this week's comedy bit of the week, talking about my grandma, Macy. My grandmother growing up, dip snuff. 
Anybody else's grandmother here dip snuff? Raise your hand. Oh, God bless you for admitting to it. <laughs> dip snuff. Now, for those of you uninitiated, we're not talking about red man or chewing tobacco. We're not talking about skull or Copen <laughs> Copenhagen. Bro, we're bro, bro. It, two bros and railroad mills and yeah, old navy. And it was it was it was looked like Nestle's quick in a little metal tin. <laughs> Nasty brown, ground up, chewed up. Nasty and boy. Back in the old days, 40, 30, 40 years ago, old grandmas used to love it. Remember, they pack it in. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> now, I don't care how country you think you are or how southern you think you want to be, until you've kissed your grandmother square on the mouth with a mouth full of snuff, you ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll tell you what, boys. Sunday dinner, we'd finish up, boy, that wonderful dessert banana pudding, and just before we'd go home, <laughs> get that brown juice going on both sides. Come here, baby, don't you go home before you give me a kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to kiss her on the lips. You could just, mm, come here now. <laughs> Folks, we hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Fishing for Laughs. This hasn't been our most productive episode, but we've had a good time today. So, once again, folks, we just thank y'all for watching Fishing for Laughs, and we've actually made a change here this week. So please remember, if the fishing's not that good, always keep in mind that life's short, so take a friend's skin. Hit it! Hold on, Arnie, here we go! <laughs> Let's get it, Arnie! Please!